okay guys so in this video we are going to talk about a question which uh, says that we have to find out number of mean heaps containing each value from this set 1 to 7 exactly for 1 okay so before uh, we solve this problem uh, i hope you know what a mean heap is so in mean heap we know that the root value is always less than or equal to its children values so in considering this fact we have to fill out these seven positions with with uh, the seven different numbers okay so the first part is this value must be less than equal to this one and this one similarly this value must be less than equal to this one or this one this value must be less this value must be less than equal to this and this values so if we follow this trick then now we find that one must be here because uh, if one is not here so suppose one is here means uh, some other values either two three four five six or seven is here this is not a mean heap right so one must be here and the next part is to choose uh, the values at this these positions right suppose two is not here i mean two is not in this sense uh, at this level sorry so if 2 is not at uh, this level then 2 will be somewhere here so if 2 is here means uh, uh, the value above this this level the level above this level will be either 3 4 5 6 or 7 so this also denies from making a mean heap so that's why 2 must be somewhere at this level so let's for now suppose 2 is here okay so the next part is uh, find out the position of other value that is 3 4 5 6 7 so for now suppose 3 is here because there is no problem in putting 3 here so if we, uh, in this case what will happen so now we have 4 values left and we have to fill uh, 4 positions these 4 positions so we can say that these four positions can be filled with these four values 4 5 6 7 and any value can be present at any position because all the remaining values that is 4 5 6 and 7 are greater than 2 and 3 so there is no problem in putting any value at any of these positions so in that case we know the total number of uh, possible mean heap will be 4 multiplied with 3 multiplied with 2 multiply with 1 and this is equal to 20 so in this way if 1 is here 2 is here 3 is here then total number of mean heap would be 24 because these four positions can be filled by any by choosing any permutation of these four values 4 5 6 and 7 right next sub next let's see whether we can put any other any other value here other than 3 can we put a, any other values okay. suppose we are putting instead of 3 we are putting 4 here anyway. now we since 4 is here so these values so these positions can't be filled with 3 means 3 will, would be somewhere uh, at these positions right so let's assume 3 is here okay so now we have been left with these 3 values 5 6 and 7 so and we have to fill these 3 positions with these 3 values and there is no problem if we uh, fill 5, 6, or 7 at any of these 3 positions then still this heap is a um, mean heap because it is 4 and all the values of 5, 6, and 7 is are greater than 4 so there is no problem similarly since this is 2 so any value is greater than 4 so these 3 positions with these 3 values can be filled in three ways so so uh, can be actually can be filled with six ways it is three 
multiply with 2, multiply with 1, and this is equal to 6. Right. Okay. So we we got total six units. Okay. And in the previous case, when uh, uh, we choose two two here and three here, so these two positions can be altered as well. So in previous case, when two and three are at this level, so total number of mean heaps would be uh, two times this value. So in the previous case, we had the total number of mean heaps equals to 24 multiplied by 2 and this is nothing but 48. Similarly, in this case, uh, in this case, when 2 and 4 are at this level, so we have total number of mean heaps equal to uh, 3 is here. Other three values are put at these three positions. 2 and 4 are here. So 2 and 4 are at this level, this level we are talking about. So in this case, total number of mean heaps would be 2 times this 6 because if 4 is here, 2 is here, then again we will get 6 extra mean heaps in the same way. So that's why at this, for this particular level, 2 and 4, uh, we have total number of 6 multiplied with 2. This is nothing but 12 mean heaps. Right. Another thing is that these values can also be swapped. 3 and uh, uh, whatever value is here can be swapped. Whatever value at here and here, these two can be swapped. So, therefore, we, uh, we will get extra these many number of mean heaps. So, now we have for this particular arrangement, we have total number of mean heaps equal to 12 multiplied with 2, so this is nothing but 20. So now 2 and uh, two and 4 are clear. Next, suppose instead of 4, we are putting 5 here. I am not changing this value because 2 cannot be at this level. If 5 is here, means uh, these two positions must be filled with 3 and 4. So 3 was at this position, so this position must be 4. Right. So in this way, we have total 2 ways. If 2 is here and 5 is here, then uh, these two positions can be filled with 2 ways. Similarly, if 5 is here, then these two positions can be filled with two ways. So we have now total number of ways equals 2 plus 2. I mean, 2 plus 2 equals 4. Similarly, 2 and 5 can be can also be swapped, and in that case, we will get 4 extra mean heaps. So we now we now have total number of mean heaps. When 2 and 5 are at this level is 4 plus 4, this is equal to 8. Okay. So in this way we can say that total number of mean heaps is nothing but 8 plus is 24 plus is 48. This is equal to uh, 80. So this is the final answer. So this question, when uh, we have to fill uh, these seven positions, I mean we have to form a mean heap with uh, this value, and uh, using each of the values exactly once is nothing but 80. I mean total 80 mean heaps can be formed as per the situation mentioned in the question. So thank you for watching this video and in the next video I will come up with some other questions.